what my children, my own children, their own children, yeah. need to be understanding. I'll just put it to you this way. If you take the finest vitamin in the world, I don't care what that vitamin is, A, E, or the one you believe in the most, but that's the only vitamin you take. You said, Danny, maybe, you maybe hit it. The only color Hollywood really sees is green. So if you think that this is, you know, based in the, in the economics, is it because people of color don't support shows, don't watch shows? I mean, I know in daytime where we run, yeah. there are more black viewers than anybody else. And there are 9% more bl uh, white, uh, black viewers at, at the prime time as well. It's not the issue of it's, it's gonna, who's going to buy what. I, th I think they're money impaired. As if the Census Bureau hasn't had enough troubles already, consider this new element. out there. They're going around home to home, knocking on people's doors, trying to get the details of the census forms filled out. And there have been, as Joan mentioned, a couple of cases where con men. Beautiful, terrific. Uh, thank, thank you very you much. Again. Thank you. Thank you. That's the watch. Thank you. A little bit and talk about an actor, a beloved actor that we lost yesterday. Both rivalry with the child that hasn't arrived yet. That's correct, because okay. I think it's part of trying to identify with that baby you brought home and invaded his life with. <laughs> and he wants you to love him, you know, like if he were one or three, he wants you to love him either way. And so what you have... era. We'll visit with him at home this morning. Welcome back to CBS. I'm Hattie Kaufman. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, Hattie. Thank you. I'm Paula Zahn. He is really a fascinating man. I had the opportunity to spend some time with him earlier yeah. in the week. I'm strong. They've now taken two in a row in Portland, uh, up 3-1. But you've been following that uh, very closely. Last second shot last night for Portland. Uh, almost tied. Great controversy. And were you up for that? Uh, no. And but I the first and thing I checked on the wires this morning. Go away. Good morning. I'm Joan Lennon. It's Wednesday, June 13th. <laughs> and I'm Charles Gibson, incidentally. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I go? If me. Always good to the last drop. Interesting second hour coming up. And number one, we'll have an update on the AIDS crisis worldwide. Number two, very interesting father and son co-authors of a new book on genetics and how genetics affects personality. Also on the set with actor Gene Hackman, Joel Siegel reviews another 48 hours, and Kim Alexis with a fashionable look at pearls. Another 48 hours has taken its lumps from some reviewers. Didn't she have her pearls on backwards? Well, she had them over her. There's different ways that you can... We don't have to everybody wear them, just like the first lady, I guess. The fashion expert here, you notice this? <laughs> Mr. Fashion, right here. <laughs> I've been talking to Kim Alexis. I learned all this stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All the people who worked on the movie say that Warren has broken Madonna's heart and she has gone off and she still loves him. I but that's only hearsay. I suspect it wouldn't be the first time. And he wouldn't <laughs> commit because he has a problem committee. He wouldn't commit to that answer. But we'll be back right after this from Freedent. 4% of consumers surveyed say they believe advertising encourages them to buy products they don't need. Does that I, scare you? No, I think the public... 74% of consumers surveyed say they believe advertising encourages them... Right. No. No? Not last night. Not, not with the weather, I don't. No. What, what I blame them is when they don't tell me. <laughs> oh. You know, they say, we're just going to sit here. Like Faith just came in and said, we're going to sit here. Because that's the problem. I mean, they, lock you, they basically lock you up and sit here. Like Faith just came in and said, we're going to sit here. Because that's the problem. I love this. Yeah. Because they present the, the Clio Awards. I think most people know what those are. Those are the awards. Best ad. Best TV, television ad. Best, I don't know what the stat fact is. We probably spend, what, 15 years of our lives looking at television ads or something. And as all... I'm still looking for his first win. Because he wasn't dressed well yesterday. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> Two, it's more than double the work. Yeah, I mean, it's... Kind and of they'll never get the measles at the same time. No, they'll it's never a geometric the progression as you get them. It's just kind of... goes on and on and on and on. And <laughs> yeah. I'm just happy if, if I get the right colors. You guys are horrible. Have you ever done that? Have you ever come in and, like, one navy sock, one black sock? I do that all the time. Have I had navy shoe, one black shoe. I did do that. I did that once. It was like, oh, 10, come on. I swear, it was 10.30 in the morning before anyone no, had the courage to point it out to me or that I noticed. <laughs> I'm standing in the hall and someone says, something wrong. You've never normal. done that? No. This has been, uh, who knows this country as well as probably any American will be here later on in the broadcast to talk about that. And in our next half hour, we'll have the defending champ. Greg LeMond. The man himself. So we'll see you each morning over the next three weeks. Yeah. All right. Beth Druyak, thank you. It's the 23 after. We'll be back. What are some of the other things that, that we wouldn't necessarily think of that you think of? We juggle things. We have a minute. And we well, were talking well, about not Smith another day. plans for the fourth thing. Ouch, ouch. They you know, do it. They're hitting each other with sticks. Greg, thank you. Exactly. It is now 22 minutes after the hour. Still the senior golf tour. Mm -hmm. And it seems like the big names are now the seniors. You know, 
Everyone, not everyone, there are a lot of people who are... You know, look wild. Kuski and Kamii and Lapway. you just did. <laughs> Take a walk to the weather board. A million All right. Can we Kathy. give them something to agree or disagree with? Kathy and Dorothy, thanks for joining us. Sure. Thank morning. you. We're going to be back right after that. Mark coming up from Second City. Next week to fix it and then come back August 9th if everything goes well. Do they get to have any fun up there? Is uh, not very much. But, you know, the Boston Museum of Science exhibit is on until September 23rd. If anybody wants to share in this moment, that's the oh, time to do it. Oh, what Go a there moment that was. Yeah. That was fabulous. Yeah, Thanks, it was Michael. terrific. <laughs> Paul, you Charlie, get you around. No, no, no. It's nice to come back here and see what it looks like bright and early in the morning. I don't see it much these days. Funny, that's not what he said at 4 o'clock this morning. <laughs> By this time, though, I feel good about it. All so right. Well, well, around there cause right. How much does it cost to put the show in? About 35 cents. And what's really funny, of course, is the voiceovers that they've Summer's sleeper hit, and you're going to love it. I know, that one little scene raised the little hairs oh, on my arm, so wonderful. I'm going to go. I can't wait. Most important, the best sense of humor, definitely a necessity around here. With us now, Al Kamen of the Washington Post. Al to either uh, give credit or assess blame to all the people <laughs> who make this. It's been a good week. I think no, we give credit. <laughs> good morning. It's Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. July 20th. I'm Harry Smith. A lot of people are happy about that this morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm Paula Zahn. Welcome. This is Bruno Kirby. He's co-starring with Marlon Brando in The Freshman. Best-selling romance novelist Barbara Taylor Bradford joins us. Also, how creative labeling of foods can sometimes be misleading to consumers. And Steve Fox will be going to Chincoteague, Virginia for the annual Pony Swim. And on Friday, Joan, Sam. I guess so, Mike. Thanks. My choice. Eight minutes after right now. Spencer's taking a day off. Sam Champion of WABC-TV is here with us. Uh, and uh, last week was a scorcher. What? They actually make these custom made, don't they? They draw your foot and then... Yes, exactly made to your foot. And the work must take Buckskin skin that somebody, somebody got a deer. And, yeah, uh, thanks. and great fun. You don't often get assignments like this. No, I had you a good don't. time. Lucky you. Thanks, Hattie. Fifteen minutes after the hour, Mark. Thank you. Great story. Coming up. Morning. So I took a sitting <laughs> thing here. Let's see. <laughs> no burnt rubber on that street. <laughs> it's kind of fun. That's not a good thing to do when your license is close to expiring. Nine minutes after the hour. Let's talk to Mark right now about... <laughs> Berlin Wall comes down, I'll do it. And here he is again. Big event, big event. A lot of big stars there as well. Have that story coming up in a couple of minutes. We'll be watching it another music story. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. Time now for the news. It was Barry Peterson. Good morning, Barry. Hi, Barry. High billion dollar kitty market. Now, Victoria Corderi with the news. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning Hi, again. Here are the top stories on CBS this morning. David Powell, preserving tradition. Welcome back, everybody, to CBS This Morning. Good morning. I'm Paula Zahn. I'm Mark McEwen. Harry Smith is off on assignment, hopefully sleeping late this morning. Nice to have you with us Pleasure in a different corner here. of yes, our indeed. big studio here. Coming up Dizziness, and these can be associated with uh, nausea and vomiting. They also have a sense of fullness or pressure. San Diego, where they've been training. Andy Kaufman, thank you very much. It is 22 minutes after the hour. Still to come, a talk with that feisty minutes before the hour. You talk with Harrison Ford again today. Now, what? this is the third time you've had the opportunity to interview him. Mm -hmm. what, what are your impressions of him? What, what struck you about him? All of the print stuff you read about Harrison Maybe has something else in mind for them. National editor Hattie Kaufman is here with that story. Good morning, Hattie. Good morning. Navy has in mind recruitment. It is confusing. Most people don't understand. Well, you know, one of the problems, sometimes... You heard Mr. Ortis talking about how they've been complaining about this since 1986. What was going on at the time? The man in Iraq, we can't do it. So in the end, we really have to talk about the Arabs themselves, what the Arabs really want. Tom, let's talk about that for the moment. Is, in fact, the Arab solution just allowing Iraq to maintain control? There are a lot of nice things <laughs> about your ex-husband. I do, and I, because I still care very much about him, I feel. And I, because I still care very much about him, I feel. Chips. And I wanted to share my experience. In the book, you describe some pretty ugly things that happened to the two of you. How politically embarrassing 
will that be to I don't, your ex-husband? One of the reasons. Doesn't he? He looks so healthy. Yes, I'm sure he's thrilled to be back. <laughs> Getting up early On a slow morning. August week. Oh, <laughs> eight minutes after the hour right now. Mark's too busy sitting here this morning. So Steve Rambo is going to fill us in on what is happening outside. He's from Casey. <laughs> Welcome back to CBS This Morning. I'm Harry Smith. Moving target out there with that camera. Good morning, everybody. I'm Paula Zahn. Coming up in this half hour, the story of a mother's courageous fight. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. I'm Harry Smith. Moving target out there with that camera. Good morning, everybody. I'm Paula Zahn. Coming up in this half hour. Are you right? You weren't able to hear that disturbance, were you? <laughs> sure I was. You can hear it down the hall. Really? No, yeah. Yeah. Into a what you were talking? Faith was up there in the, in the gallery in a... You know, seats up there. We got 30,000 <laughs> seats in this new thing. It's such a tattletale. Well, I mean, who could, who could not hear it? <laughs> oh. I didn't say ouch loudly, though. No, you didn't. He kind of, his lips started bleeding, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of biting down, <laughs> hang, hanging on, though. You don't need to like golf. Rubber duck racing is not a high spectator sport in the way of skill, so uh, anybody could get into it, so to speak. You must see a lot of potential here, because you've given up your full-time job. It's and it's run like a business. And you think this guy right here is your aunt. Thanks, Eric. Okay, 22 Paula. minutes after the hour. We'll be back. That your uh, duck has a fighting chance, so to speak. We know that we're in pretty tough economic times now. Do, do you find that this is a pretty good lure? American Duck Races is Eric Schechter, who joins us now with uh, some of his friends. Good morning. Quack of the morning to you. Don't get right, me started on the so puns. We've so many puns from 6 o'clock on this crew. morning. How do you track these guys? You dump 50... Time. Somebody comes to me and says, why don't you play the tuba with Barry Tuckwell? Will you say to me, don't do it? Oh, come on. You were great. And he did right. I don't know, it looks pretty dangerous to me to let them go out and pick what they like. It's important though, Paula, to sit down with the child before you go well, to take one at a time, if it's at all possible. Sounds a lot easier than double trouble. Thanks, Pat. Harry? Demonstrating in front of the White House, because we permit that. It to be an unpleasant, uh, unpleasant conflagration. As you travel around the country, do you find there really is... It's almost survivor's guilt. You know how when people survive an airplane crash, yeah, yeah. they feel bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you never can tell. Let's hope I won't have to use I it. Hope that, everybody comes home. Yeah, you got that right. That does it for us on this day. Been a good Monday. We'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> we have a master